meet some of the 445 middle school students, along with 154 high school students, who stand tall in front of their work at the 60th annual Palm Beach Regional Science and Engineering Fair. Competitors like Lewis Otero from Watson B. Duncan Middle School. Lewis tested different materials to find the best method to clean up oil spills. The cotton material absorbed the most oil. This seventh grader wants to do his part to protect the environment. We're the people who are going to be the grown-ups who are going to take care of the world when we grow up. And we can't replace it, so we got to take care of it. That passion to make a difference on display throughout the South Florida Fairgrounds. Seminole Ridge High School senior Rudolph Hall explained to Deputy Superintendent Dr. David Christensen how he used amplifying DNA and UV lights to test food for GMOs. This isn't really a project for me, it's more of a project to the public. You know, people want to know what they're eating. To see the depth and the breadth and the complexity of these projects where you have students solving life's problems and, and making the world a better place. Congress middle school student Quest Taylor wants to be a pediatrician when he gets older. He explains to Judge Joe Holcomb the effectiveness of ripening bags for bananas. I classified them in the groups, I had dark green, light green. 92 volunteer judges will grade the students on their research, execution, problem solving, and creativity. Holcomb is the manager of K-12 curriculum for the Palm Beach County School District. He says the science fair is all about the high expectations outlined in the strategic plan. The way these kids are conducting, designing, and carrying out these experiments and reporting out their results and, and really thinking about what they're doing, that, that's really the highest level of rigor that we're looking for when students are executing work on the standards. Dr. Robert Avosa got to see these high achievers in action. Our kids are just so brilliant and they think outside the box. They're not like us as adults. We unfortunately sometimes put a a frame around our thinking and they don't. And for their work, many of these students will go on to the state competition where they could win college scholarships. I'm Rick Blackwell reporting for the Education Network, keeping you informed.